Hey guys, and welcome to episode 7, I think. In this episode, we'll be generating, well, trying to make a new source for the power that we have around our base. Because currently, um, all these machines that I have around here are powered independently using water wheels. And that kind of won't work for future reference. Um, so I'll go into creative and show you guys what I mean. Alright, so this is a furnace engine, and if I put, if the furnace is smelting, then you can see it starts working. And it makes 16,000, a little over 16,000 SU, which for reference, on the other hand, the water wheel uh, makes 160 SU when it's spinning normally. So this thing generates a stupid amount more SU than the water wheel basically ever can. Um, only reason the water wheel is better is because it's cheaper and you can just build a crap ton of them. But um, that's still better. This is like equivalent to a, like 100 of these. So what I want to do is I want to build this in the middle of my base and then have everything else powered by this. Now, this will be difficult to power, but what I think I can do is I can just obviously run cobblestone into it and then I can use a carpet duper to power the coal part of it, which shouldn't be too bad, right? Or I can figure out some alternative to the coal. Um, I was thinking of building a tree farm. That might work. And guys, this is why I want to automate. <laughs> I want to get a better SU source because I don't want to have to sit here and do this every single time I need to crush stuff. Now we actually have to make this in the mechanical crafter, so I have the recipe pulled up. One goes there, one goes there, I think ingots go there, and then we surround it with plates. Oh, does it have to be the same size still? I'll have to... crap, okay, I'll have to restart. Alright, let's try this again. So that in the middle, uh, this going around the outside. I think two of these and a sticky piston, right? It looks like it's working. It's hard to tell at the start, though. Um, for starters, we're supposed to put this chest, so I'll collect it, right? There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's working. And then that'll make... a thing. Holy crap! What the heck?! <laughs> no! Oh, I still got it. Nice. <laughs> it did break my stuff. Why? <laughs> okay, I got the furnace engine. We're good. And I got some spare crafters too, so we can replace those nice and easy, but it's still super annoying. Why does creepers always have to appear right at times like that? Okay. All right, and now we make a flywheel, so I think that's just this, right? No. Wait, what's in the mid? Oh, I need to have crap. Okay. Um, it needs to be, oh, nope. So it needs to be, no. <laughs> Crap. One sec. Alright, I have it how I think it needs to be set up, but maybe they need to have that removed, possibly. So... If so, that's kind of weird, but... Uh... Oh, it just turned them into nuggets. <laughs> Oof. Okay, um... Let's craft that back into an ingot. There we go. So, that needs to lead... Maybe that goes this way? Like that, maybe? Or, I'm not sure what to put there. Or, actually, I can just... Crap, okay. Kind of, these these kind of crafters are kind of a pain to use. And... Flywheel. Nice. Now, I'm not really sure where to even put this, but I might just throw it over here somewhere. Maybe just, like, here. Um, or here. Let's do it here. So, furnace... Uh, where is it? Furnace engine, and then flywheel. There we go, nice. And I got the achievement for that too. So now if it's smelting stuff, it should give me power. All right, I just saw this little tip on the um, the wiki page from Tango Tech's video on this I, I haven't seen the actual video, but I just saw it to, it's just saying that if you put a fan above, above a chute to a furnace, it pulls the item out of the top and now all I need is fuel because the cobblestone purely is pulled in and out. So it's just being not quite cooked every single time, which is like perfect because we're getting a lot of power. Um, and as you can see, we're still getting power from it. I think it stops just for momentarily for a little bit after a while. Uh, just for a, just for a second, yeah. <laughs> Nice, okay. That's perfect. So all we need is fuel then. That might be the most challenging part anyway. 
All right, now we get to move everything that we got, um, all the machines over to this area right here so we can construct them over here um, so they're closer to the power source. Oh, wait a minute. Holy crap, that's a lot of blaze cake. Oh, it was making extra lava. Oh, because I can just hold more blaze. Oh, I feel stupid now. <laughs> I thought that machine wasn't working. Okay, okay, I have a plan. We can make this even more efficient, but I'm moving it over there. All right, thanks to this power generator, we can make a very fast mixer. So, uh, let's throw it a basin down, and I think um, we can put the blaze burner underneath. And this should be able to make lava at a much faster rate than we previously were able to because it's spinning so fast. Um, that should make better worthwhileness of the um, blaze burner even better, or the blaze cakes. So, uh, that's what it should be able to hold. Um, run the hopper into that. All right, so I think this is the full setup, I think. And all we need to do is input the materials for the thing. And we need to import, uh, sorry, not the thing, I probably should actually state, that the materials for the blaze cake you could get imported and cobblestone, and that's it. So I think I might hook up the cobblestone farm right here. Um, it'll input probably just right here. All right, so this thing is now set up. Oh, and it's mixing. Um, well, there's cobblestone in there. So if I insert the blaze cake, it should just start making lava, I think. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> it's just throwing it up in the air. All right, it's going. Um, I'm not sure how much lava it even takes. I don't know how much lava's in there. Lots of questions, no answers. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Ow. Screw it. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. All right, now we got a double cobblestone generator. Now, we are getting lava, right? Or we should be getting lava. Um, why is there wood in there? How much lava does it take? Why isn't it making... It shouldn't it be making lava? Huh. I'm not sure why it's not... Was there another condition that I don't know? I don't remember? No, this works. So what am I doing wrong? Does it not work if there's like blocks on the side or... Something's wrong. Oh, there is a chute right here. Is that the problem? Oh, that was the problem. Nice. Okay. Looks like we got that figured out. Um, let's throw the cake in there, and we just run out of power over here. Um, actually, can I just... It would be super nice if I could just get that out, but... I need to start... Let's throw a bit more wood in there for now. Uh, if we can make some enough lava, we can use lava to power it. Alright, it's filling up. Alright, this may work. May not. It's not, okay. Um, look, instead, we're gonna have to move this here. Nope, wrong way. We'll put it, dang it. So that's there, there. Dang it. Can, wait, can I just switch it? I can just switch it, nice. And then if I do that, and then I go around this side. There's so much moving parts on the screen right now. Can I just slap that there? Boop. And then... Oh, it's still facing the wrong way. Is that working? It is working. Nice. Alrighty. So can I even... I wonder if I can take a bucket out of this. I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, but do you know what I bet I can do? Yeah, I can do that. I can fill up a bucket that way. Um, I take the bucket out, and I can use the bucket to fuel this, and that'll fuel up for a long time. All right, and now we throw in the ingredients, so we need eggs still. And the chickens have been making eggs. Nice. All right, and that's making them. That's filling them up. Awesome, okay. This might be completely um, automatic now, possibly. Um... It's only a matter of time to figure it out. But also it's making these things super fast. It's making a lot of blaze cake. 
It's using all the lava it has to make blaze cake right now. So max blaze cake capacity is probably not ideal, but yeah, this is working very well. And it also looks like the cobblestone generator is keeping up. Um, just about, it's pretty close, but it's keeping up um, with how much the lava needs. And also the lava tank is actually filling up now because we ran out of eggs. <laughs> not eggs, we ran out of these bases, which we, looks like we ran out of both eggs and, or we ran out of everything but sugar. We ran out of the flour stuff. So um, we're gonna go, need to go get more of that. Lava keeps this thing going for, like for so long. This has been going for a couple minutes now and it's only down that far. So um, what I might do is make a second um, fluid tank over here that just fills buckets up and sends them over there. But we can la see it, save that for later. I don't really care right now. Um, for now, I want to get the, um, oh crap, no. Oh, so, uh, why? Why creepers? Last, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I can hear it behind me too. Uh, uh, in my um last episode of the portals mod, I had creeper trouble too. What the heck is wrong with creepers recently? Oh, dang it. I just want peace and quiet. <laughs> All right, he didn't break anything major, so we're good, I think, for now. All right, I uh, got more cinder flour, so there we go. And that's probably gonna use up a ton of our lava, but it should make a ton more cakes as well. Yeah, you can see it just decreasing. But that is a really fast cake, um, blaze cake process though. And keep in mind, we don't use them that often. It only uses one every once in a while or so. So as long as we can keep up with the demand, we can keep having lava and stuff. Oh, speaking of lava, we should actually be using the lava. So um, let's get, oh, I don't think I have any more of those, do I? Um, let's go, I think we have everything gathered up from over here because we can make our the farm that we need for the next thing now. Oh, we can make our andesite farm back again. That's what I was trying to say. What is this? Another press, okay. Oh, I do need a press, just come and think of it, for the uh, andesite. All right, let's go. Oh, and speaking of which, we can make a, we can make a really easy um, concrete farm too with the um, mechanical press and the other things. Um, we can automat automate sand and gravel which are the two components for concrete, along with dye. But dye, we have a flower forest over there-ish. So that'll be super easy to get too. Nice. Oh, this is convenient. Okay. So we have a pump right here. So if I aim that, well, I'll put that there and then I'll do that. So now, yeah, nice. Okay, so this cauldron has water. Um, and then, Sand, that goes there. Oh, no, no, that doesn't go there. That goes one more down. Boop, and that, this is where the andesite will be gathered up. All right, so there are the grinders that'll make cobblestone into sand, not sand, flint and stone. So now we just need to hook them up to the power and to get cobblestone going into them. Oh, oh crap, okay. Um, it's no longer keep, the cobblestone generators are no longer keeping up with the demand for cobblestone. So for now, we'll just um, I'll just grab some from over here because we have plenty extra um, and throw some on. But we're gonna need a more better solution for that. And also, I broke my pickaxe again. All right, first test. I put cobblestone in it, um, and it should just start making the things. Yeah, there's a flint, um, there's a gravel, and then pretty soon when it gets the yep, it'll do that and. We'll get an andesite. Nice. Um, the next problem is is that uh, I don't have any wood left again. So we're going to have to go do that. And we're going to have to make a cobblestone generator up there. And we're going to have to upgrade the other cobblestone generator. But this is infinite andesite. And I would like to do before the episode's done. I would like to make it so the andesite is automatically crafted into andesite ingots as well. Or andesite alloy, I guess. I think a good thing for us to do next episode will be to make a wood farm because I'm getting sick of having to cut down trees. Hmm. I don't really want to have to deal with that right now. Um, uh, let's see. Um, 
let's let's borrow our lava <laughs> and deal with that this that way. Boop. There we go. It's not my fault. I swear. <laughs> I don't have to deal with the raid right now. I don't have the equipment or armor. Efficiency is key. All right, nice. So a mixer has been set up underneath this, and I think um, this part's actually pretty darn easy for us to do. All I had to do is put a thing there and put a chest underneath that. Um, do I have any extras? I do have one extra. Nice. And this will make us automatic and as alloy. Um, the only thing I need to input now is um, iron nuggets, which I'm not seeing. I don't think it's gonna be a challenge. Um, I'm gonna have to make another drop um, hopper, but I don't see it being a huge challenge to input that, but there's not much room. I'm running out of room over there. Yeah, there's hardly any room left, but I think that works. Um, that's where I'll put iron nuggets. Ooh, I don't want I don't like dropping items into the middle of it like that. Okay. Um, and then as you can see, it is filling up with iron nuggets. Um, and now, if I put um, cobblestone in the top, it should all empty out down. Um, I'm just going to bring over a crap ton of cobblestone from our previous one, and then I'll build one on top. But I just want to see it all working in progress before I do that. Alright. Throw a ton in there. Throw a ton in there. And I'll throw the rest in here. Nice. Okay. So... That is working, that's working, and we already got andesite alloy. Amazing, okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Automatic andesite alloy, and it only costs cobblestone, pretty soon it won't even cost cobblestone. Um, all it costs is, is the ingredients we need for the pie, and that pretty soon will be completely automated too. Because I'll bring the chickens over here, I'll have that sugarcane, that'll turn into a sugarcane farm, and we also need the nether stuff, but um, it's basically completely automated now. And on a side note, we have completely full, um, the lava fluid container is completely full, even though we're using up lava from over there. So it is keeping up to date. It's using, the lava's being used, definitely. So let's grab some more buckets so we can, um, because we're going to need to refill this furnace soon. Yeah. So let's do that. All right. And currently we have 23 magma cakes or blaze cakes so um this should run for quite a while it's keeping itself working so i'm proud of this and in just the time i've been yapping um we already got 26 andesite alloy from just sitting here this thing is working like much better than i thought it was gonna um i thought we were gonna have some troubles with the lava source but we're good and the lava that we're making is even producing enough to help fuel <laughs> the furnace engine and this thing is this thing is amazing i wouldn't have been able to do any of this without this engine so we're gonna have to make more of these eventually because it wasn't too expensive either but um anyways guys uh thanks for watching and next episode it'll, i'll just keep scaling up stuff because it's getting easier and easier infinite and it's like alloy which is basically what this is um it's a huge upgrade so next episode i'll probably either do a tree farm or we're gonna do we're gonna finish the automation progress on this by adding the automated um, this um, cinder flour, sugar, and eggs, which should not take too long. I might just start the next episode doing that, and we'll do the second half of the episode doing the tree farm. Because tree farms actually aren't that hard. The hardest part about a tree farm is the bow meal, which isn't too much of a challenge. Did another pillager group just spawn? Yeah, they did. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.